What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we have yet another Slipknot mask unboxing. And I believe that this is yet another world's first. So I could be wrong, but I am 99.9% .9 certain that I am the first person with a replica of this piece in my collection. Now, this is a modern day replica, meaning that we are replicating the current state, the modern modern day state of a Slipknot mask. For those of you that don't understand, I am sure that you will get it here in just a second when I start pulling this piece out of the package, but yeah. How crazy is it that there are still pieces being added to my collection almost every single day? Like I'm still nowhere near having all of the Slipknot masks. That's pretty freaking weird, man. Like I was just sitting here looking at this whole wall as I was setting up and I was like, wow, wow. that's a lot of masks. But then I was like, wow. wow, I still have a lot to go. So to the people that are always asking what I'm going to do when I get all of the Slipknot masks, uh, I don't know, but I do know that that's going to be quite a while away. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into today's package. Now, we have got a package here from return sender Caleb Campbell. He pretty much has his own area in the collection. He has made me so many modern day replicas of Slipknot masks that he pretty much has an entire shelf dedicated to the masks that he has sent in. In fact, I think only one of the masks down there was not done up by Caleb in some way, shape, or form. So that's pretty cool. This kid's killing it. He literally has his own section at the House of Masks, and that's pretty cool in my opinion, but I'm a little biased because I am the House of Masks. Regardless, let's go ahead and see what we've got. This has been a very requested mask because people have seen the real deal out in the wild, if you will, and also because it's one of my favorite masks. So Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Get rid of the packing material. Here is the piece. Oh, and it came on its own foam head. That's pretty cool. Now, Caleb told me that there definitely wasn't a bunch of Pokemon cards in the bottom of this package, so we'll go ahead and ignore these non-existent Pokemon cards. Yeet! Yeah. Oh my god, I just yeeted on camera. I did not mean to do it. Fuck me. Okay, well, I'm leaving it in. The cringe is real. All right, well, we'll look at this first just to uh, give you guys some blue balls real quick. We've got a shitload of Pokemon cards from what I can tell. Some of them have come out, so I'll try to put them back in their spots. I see a holographic Mewtwo already. Pretty cool. I see, man, we got Cloyster. We got holographic Machamp. Yes, for those of you that can't tell by now, I am a massive, massive Pokemon fan. Yes, I love Pokemon, and I don't feel bad about it. Pokemon's fucking sick, okay? So, hell yeah, I definitely cannot wait to give a real good look through this book a little bit later tonight, maybe after I edit this video, but for right now, there is a Slipknot mask waiting, and I'm sure that you guys would much rather see that than those Pokemon cards, and if not, then I'm sorry. Maybe I'll start a Pokemon channel. I don't know. So, let's go ahead and see what we've got. This is the front of the mask, so I will do my best to let you guys take the first look at it. I promise I have not seen this in person yet. I didn't even see it when it was turned around right there. There we have the modern day Silver Iowa Gym. And how is it? Pretty fucking sick. Wow, what a weird paint job. He really, really nailed the fading silver paint that was on that thing. Super, super crazy. This is a very decrepit mask. Even the slits where the mask is cracking and the foam is exposed looks perfect because this is just a latex mask. This is not a foam latex mask like Jim's real mask. So for him to have nailed all of these smaller areas where there would have been rot is just fantastic. Super, super sick. Now, as I mentioned, this is one of the most requested modern day Slipknot masks because a lot of photos of this piece exist. This is just owned by a random tattoo artist that Jim used to get tattooed by, and this mask has been through hell, so we've been able to document it pretty regularly throughout the years. And not only that, but I'm very excited for this piece because this is one of my all-time favorite Jim masks. Jim's silver Iowa promo mask is just so fucking evil. I absolutely love it. So to have the modern day version version of it is very, very cool. Caleb has been really, really wanting to do this. This might have been the first modern day piece that he ever wanted to do for me. However, there were just troubles tracking down a really nice sculpt, but eventually he somehow got a hold of a Jared Smalley V2 blank and was able to convert it. And like I said, Caleb did all of the finishing on this piece. However, there was some other artist involved as well. So I obviously just mentioned that the sculpt itself was done by Jared Smalley. It is a V2 Jared Smalley sculpt, which is a very, very nice sculpt, but the strapping was actually done 
done up by two other artists, Ian Six Effects and Nebula Mask Company, both of which we have recently done videos on unboxing some of their stuff as well. So this was a team effort between four really, really solid artists and a lot of young cats in the hobby, and they were able to create something this cool. So this thing is really, really rad. I really love the paint job. That cannot be an easy paint job to replicate. Rotting foam latex with a crazy silver finish on top that is just dissolving away and he absolutely killed it. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but it's a really interesting look with a lot of textures going on. So yeah, very, very accurate, very happy to have it. And like I mentioned, the Iowa Gym promo is one of my all time favorite Slipknot masks and definitely tied for first for my favorite gym mask of all time. So to have a modern day replica really just means a lot. And not that the other modern day replicas in my collection are cool and great and accurate, but this one's just a little bit more sentimental. So I would definitely have to say that this is my favorite current day replica that Caleb has ever sent in and I'm just really, really excited about it. So, if you guys would like to go check out Caleb's work, of course, I'm going to be dropping that information down below, and I would highly suggest it. This kid is young as fuck and clearly killing the game. Everything that he has sent in so far has been absolutely wonderful, and it's all displayed in my collection, so you know I'm not lying about that. It is because of fans and artists like yourself that the House of Masks is able to thrive on all fronts, and that is greatly appreciated and will definitely serve its purpose in 2022. Have I mentioned how fucking awesome 2022 is going to be? But enough about that. Let's go ahead and end this video with some nice up close shots of this piece like we always do so that you guys can see the beautiful detail and craftsmanship on this piece. We will then add it to the collection and show it off there as well. And that will be that. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to modern day replicas. And we'll see you guys in the next one.